Hello and welcome back to Laura Fenton Gaming Plays Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'm your host Laura Fenton. In this Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guide, I'll show everybody the best mid-game EXP and AP farming. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth video guides like this. Do not forget to hit notification bell so we update and much more. Okay everyone, I'm going to give out some requirements before we actually do this. First of all, you're going to need both AP up materia. You get one in Chapter 3 in the Mithril Mines. I have a video guide for that. Number two, you actually get another AP up in the Coral region when you enter the VR against a certain match. So, good idea to do all the Fiend ones. And then, of course, I think one of them there, you uh, do get that. Once you get the two, that's fine. Make sure you have a fully upgraded Fire materia. That's a good idea. Now, if you want to get the Blizzard one only for one creature for the first match, that's fine as well. So that's about it for requirements. So the place we're going to do it is in the North Corel VR. There's one of the matches that has five rounds exactly. So let's go ahead and show the before and after stuff. Now this is before, so let's look at this real quick. That's Elemental Materia with AP up by Link there. So yeah, I'll get 50 percent more. And Charaka there, that's 81 it starts out with. And I have a Revival Materia just to show everybody on how that works as well. Uh, same thing I have, well, I have similar to Tifa and Barrett. We're going to use those as test subjects, just like Hojo does in a lab. But instead, the subjects don't get hurt. They get benefits. In this case, that's EXP and AP. Yes, you get some good EXP from this as well. Okay, we skipped Chadley. We're going to go to the VR. We're going to look for is the Coral Region Intel. That is the five match one. Yep, there it is there. So you're going to need about 20 scans. You get 20 of that in Chapter 7 big time because there's most creatures you scan easily. You'll come back to those areas in Chapter 9. First round is uh, the fish are weak to ice. The rest of the creatures are weak to fire. So let's go ahead and start out with all five rounds with this team. Alright. 
take the lead. Need my help. <laughs> Watch yourself. Keep it together. So let's uh, go ahead and look at our results with Materia since we're done with the matches. They could go real quick, one, two minutes, maybe under a minute. Depends how fast you with the fire Materia. So anyways, uh, this I'm going to show you all the results of the match. Uh, let's see here. AP up is with 90-ish, and the other one's with 45 to 50. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go off screen at this time and farm it for an hour and show you the results of that. So after an hour of farming, what happens was I got elemental material. Some points there are quite a bit. Chiraka, I believe I definitely got there up there as uh, well. Yeah, we got that maxed out actually, thanks to the farming method. As for the, uh, let's, yes, I'll show you that revival. Yeah, we got some good ones as well. So on the uh, average, if you do it for an hour with AP up, that's about over 900 AP points. Now, if you don't have anything else with AP up, that's over 450 points, which is pretty good. Also, you can gain a level as well. And uh, for like the early 30s, you could definitely gain a level per hour. Later on, it's going to be an hour and a half, then eventually be two hours for that. For uh, EXP exper uh, farming, i probably say you can keep on doing this until you're like level 40 to 45, then look for better sources. But this is a great, I should say, way to uh, get some experience points and AP mid-game. So this way, you get those AP up there to either near max or maximum on some. It's like, for example, if you need Charaka Field or Prayer, yeah, this is a good way to uh, do it as well. So I'm going to get some final advice before I do end this video guide. Here's the deal, everyone. You want AP up first. That's very important. We have two of them. One's in Chapter 3 and one's in the Coral Region VR Combat Matches. One of them will uh, reward you that if you do it for the first time. Link those AP up with the material you need the most. You have Cathit in the party. Good ideal to link up as Fire and Lightning to get those done first and do the Blizzard and win second. Now, I did this uh, after the video. Did some serious grinding. I got Cloud from level 36 to 39 in a few hours or so. Other than that, this is a great way to get some AP and experience points. This is it for my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The best way to get the mid-game and EXP and AP video guide. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy content just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and put this monster on fire. That's that.